Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. I'm bringing you this review today for PinkyPromise.com. Go to the Pinky Promise website and sign up to receive their emails and you'll get a code to save 30%. You can also email support at PinkyPromise.com if you ever have any wig related questions. So today and throughout this week, we are going to look at brand new styles by Noriko. This particular one I have on today is Brett and the color on this one is Sandy Silver. More on her in just a minute. let's start taking a look at Brett. So uh, this is just, you know, a short style, short pixie style, a little bit longer at the nape. Um, these Noriko wigs fit, uh, they say that they're petite average, and I know that they're tight on a lot of people who are average and average plus, but this one I have to say is really big, and it honestly feels like it needs to go over my ears. <laughs> it is like pinching, you know, impinging on the back of my ears with my petite measurements. So I would say ear to ear and forehead to nape, you know, there's plenty of room up here. It feels like the circumference is okay, but then it feels big, you know, in the other measurements. So it's big on the ear to ear. It's big on the forehead to nape. It fits me in the circumference. It's kind of a weird fit, you know, so just, um, you know, consider that I'm 11 ear to ear. I'm 13 forehead to nape. And like I said, there is plenty of cap here you know, plenty of extra cap on this one. Uh, so I think this is definitely an average and maybe slightly above average, but circumference wise, it might be a little tight. I don't know. So anyway, just wanted to share that because it's just fitting my head kind of strange. <laughs> so anyway, so I will do a turn so you can see it all the way around and then we'll get into all of our specifications. So here we are from the front, my left side, the back, All right, and back to the front. Okay, so these styles are all basic caps. So you're gonna have permatease all over the top of the cap, and then there's permatease all through the wig. It's not super poofy, you know, back here in the back. Sometimes these Noriko short styles really have a lot of poof, you know, back here. So I feel like it's a natural density and everything, but you are gonna feel that permatease. And when I get up close to the camera, you're gonna be able to see it. It's not too bad on this color. I feel like in the other wigs, and I'm gonna show you the lighter colors, it shows a lot more. So, but you know, you just have that permatease and you can go in and, you know, just kind of comb, keep combing that out and waking that up and that kind of thing. But you're always gonna have some appearance of that tease up there on the top of the wig. In my experience, I have never been able to loosen up permatease to the point where you can't see it. So, um, so anyway, that's just my two cents worth <laughs> on that. So, but you know, it's not like, like I said, it's not as poofy as past Noriko styles. It, you know, I feel like it's a pretty natural density for the cut and everything. And it's a cute cut. You know, you can angle the hairs towards the face or you can, you know, put it all forward. You can't really do too much going back. You can get a little bit of height, you know, and we can play around with that with the styling. But um, anyway, so I think it's a cute style, but I just want you to be aware of what we're seeing, you know, with the cap construction. So no mono part, no lace front, no lace on the wig at all. So let me give you the measurements here. Uh, the front here is 4.3 ounces and the bangs, that make that's making the bang a bit long. So I'm just trying to keep it swept over to the side and it's side sweeping pretty easily on me. But if you want more forehead coverage, you might have to shorten those bangs because that is a little bit you know, just a tad bit of a longer bang for a pixie type cut. So, and I have a four inch forehead, which is a pretty good size forehead. So, you know, a lot of people have a smaller forehead than I do. So the bangs might need a little trim or, you know, just push them over to the side. Okay, so 4.3 on those bangs, uh, 3.9 inches up here from the crown and 2.8 inches back here at the nape. Uh, weight wise, she's 2.5 ounces. So she's very, very lightweight, so. Okay, so no mono to show you. I will show you the ear tabs. So I've got good coverage around the face. It's just like I said, I could literally pull this cap down over my ear. Now, of course, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't want to wear it that way. But with, this, with the way it's sized right now, after wearing it for a few hours with that cap pushing on the back of my ears, it would be uncomfortable. So the way to kind of rectify that is maybe to wear a wig grip and get a little, you know, a little bit of get it to lift off my head just slightly, you know, 
Um, but yeah, it's weird because it fits me in the circumference. It doesn't feel like it's going to come off, but it definitely feels a little big, you know, from ear to ear. So, okay, I'll pop her off and we can look at her interior cap construction. Okay, so here's that permatease up on the top. Has a little bit of a nesty appearance to it. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, and like I said, you can get in there and you can keep, you know, pulling that and fluffing it up and fluffing it up. But I, in my experience, I have never been able to, when it has this type of permatease, I have not been able to completely get rid of that little bit of a nesty appearance to it. So, okay, so just solid basic cap here, you know, solid top front. There's a soft um, strip right here that lays against your forehead. She's got the, those are just, yeah, those are the same as the top kind of, it's not canvas, it's not lace. It's this same material as you see on the top. It's not like the soft felt. So, but it's also not the um, open wefted ear tabs where you can put your glasses through. So not sure what that kind of, it's kind of a mesh type covering there. So there's hair on the inside and the outside to give you good coverage at the ear tabs. She's open wefted. She has the pull adjusters. And as you can see, I did not have to pull those adjusters in at all for my 21 inch circumference. She does not have an extended nape, but she does have a soft felt strip right here. And the extended nape isn't necessarily needed on this one. So she does have stretch in the cap. Not as much stretch in the circumference though. So, okay, let's take a look at this color. This is Sandy Silver. So very, very pretty silvery gray. Uh, really, really pretty. I like the way that the they did the color. I like the way they placed the different colors, you know, in the blend and everything. So the description for Sandy Silver is a silver blended with a light golden brown with silvery white front. So I don't really see the golden brown, so it must just be pretty blended out by that silver. But I can definitely see the difference in the silvery white at the front, which looks pretty around the face. Just lightens it up, you know, at the face. And then you get a little bit darker. So kind of a salt and pepper look as you, you know, go further back on the wig. And of course there's uh, not really rooted Here we are with just the rim light. I guess that I can see where that has a bit of a brown appearance, but it looks just more gray to me. and styling and all that kind of stuff. So, like I said, with these, uh, with the cap being slightly big on me, it's kind of hard for me to put it behind my ears. Like, well, I guess it's going okay on that side. Eh, well, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was doing it earlier and it was not easy. So, I'll just do that so you can see the, you know, the glasses. The glasses are easy because those ear tabs are nice and thin. Um, I like to do this so you can see the glasses, you know, when I put them on, but... I would probably want to put the glasses underneath the hair if that hair was down. So if you have it tucked, you know, I, I really li I like it. I think it's a cute style tucked behind the ears actually. So if it's tucked behind the ears, it's going to look like this. If not, I would go under the hair. But it doesn't have those, um, you know, those ear tabs like we typically see on a lot of pixies where you can put the your glasses right through the hair. So, um, you know. However you want to do it. I would not try to push the hair back with the glasses. I would just stick the glasses up on top. So, okay. So we'll tuck her again. And like I said, I think this is a cute way to wear her. Now, of course, you can't, you know, you can kind of push these, uh, feather these layers back a little bit. But you can't go completely up because you don't have any lace front and you don't have any, you know, monofilament on the part or anything like that. So, but you could definitely kind of 
feather them back a little bit away from the face and that looks cute. You know, you might have to use a little wig safe uh, hairspray. So then she looks cute. This little headband always looks so cute with these grays. So, so, and then you can, you know, fluff it up back behind there if you want to. Looks really, really cute. That's really cute. And then of course, you know, you can also just stick it in the wig without putting it back behind your ears, you know, as well, or a scarf or, you know, whatever, you could do things like that. There's not a ton that we can do as far as styling with these little pixies, but especially with this one, since there's no lace front, but you could pull, there's my little clip. Um, you know, you could pull hair over to the side and put a little clip on the side, just keeping that bang there so that you don't expose the fact that you don't have a lace front, but that looks kind of cute too. So you could do some little things like that, put some little clips in like that. So, you know, but these kind of styles are pretty much supposed to just be worn in the style they come with, you know, with the exception of being able to maybe feather them a little and fluff them up a little. One thing about this having a basic cap is if you prefer to change your part, you know, over to the right hand side, you're just gonna have to get your fibers to lay right and you can certainly do that. So for those of you that get really tired of everything always being <laughs> parted on the right in the wig world, I mean in the left, excuse me, you can, you know, flip it over and you could also do it from the middle if you wanted to. So, so she's a really, really cute new style, just basic cap, like I said, so keeps that price point down, which is kind of nice. And I think for these pixies often, you know, a basic cap works just fine. So, okay. I want to thank Pinky Promise for sending this wig to review for you all today. There will be purchase information down below this video in the info section. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.